Vikings making some move at linebacker today. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lepica Show. I'm One Bar. Vikings making some move at linebacker, signing undrafted free agent linebacker from Temple, William Inquenku. Uh, Before we get into that, we're going to get to know him very well. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like the videos here every damn day. Let's get to 8,000 before the season starts. Let's do this. William Inquenku, who is he? Here he is. Six-year player at Temple, 24 years old. Uh, was there when Harrison Hand was there, Julian Taylor, and by the looks of it, for how long he's been there, he's pretty much been there uh, with any other player that's ever been a Temple Owl. So look at the production. You can see he had a very good senior year, three sacks, 11 tackles for a loss, touchdown, force, fumble. Um, looking into him, he is uh, was clearly a big part of the Temple defense. Looking at his pre-draft rankings, inside linebacker, uh, he was always in the 30s, low 40s range, so he's never really expected to get drafted. He was at the Vikings rookie camp. Somebody saw him and said, damn it, that guy is good. We got to have him on board. Um, his MO, he's an athletic, fast linebacker, ran a 4.59. Fits the mold as far as what the Vikings are doing on defense. Look at Asamoa. Um, his numbers actually lined up with his pretty damn good as far as his workout numbers. So I love it. I mean, we've seen guys come in. Vikings like to sign players from rookie, rookie tryouts. Uh, Adam Thielen, CJ Ham, just off the top of my head. They panned out pretty good. Will he have an uphill battle? You're damn right he will. Let's see what's going on at inside linebacker. Kendricks, Hicks, Asamoah, definitely shoe-ins to make this squad. But when you look at what he's got to work with ahead of him, it's not its not insane to think he might be able to push for a spot. I mean, Surratt, we have no idea what the what the current regime thinks of him. Troy Dye, we've pretty much seen a lot of Troy Dye. Blake Lynch, I think. I almost had him in green, but it, it's, it's not. He is not a lock to make this team. But I think he's damn good. So, uh We'll see what happens. He's coming into a very good situation, and the fact that somebody saw enough in him to uh, bring him in, and here's the bad news, Tough Borland. Tough Borland is no longer in Minnesota Vikings to make room for him. Uh, they had to get rid of Tough Borland. If you've been watching the show, you know how much I like Tough Borland. Uh, really like him more than I probably should. I'll admit that. But uh, we all have our underdog, and Tough Borland was my guy, and now he is gone. Will he be back? He might. He might somebody, but as of now, he is gonzo. So this is what we're looking at. I mean, how many more inside linebackers are we going to keep? Two, maybe three. Depends on if they got some guy that they can bump outside as well. But uh, he's got an uphill climb, and realistically, he's probably looking at hopefully making the practice squad. But we have seen crazier things. Let me know what you think about the signing. Remember, subscribe to the channel here every damn day. Talk of Minnesota Vikings. Love that they're making moves. Love that we got another athletic linebacker in the mix.